always interested in finding ways to get things done in the kitchen faster and more efficiently. And Matt has, Matt has got hacks that are going to help us with this because you're all about getting things done quickly. This man is the hardest working man oh, in the food you. business. So you've got to be a very efficient in the kitchen. Efficient? And because I actually don't have a background in proper culinary training, yes. I just do things that make sense. Yes. And it tends to work. To my advantage, sometimes. It's uh, good. Like, ro like we're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you roasty potatoes. Does yes. everyone know what a roasty is? A roasty potato, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, and it, it can be a little finicky. It's very finicky, especially because it's usually cooked into a cast iron skillet. Okay. And it's shredded potato. Uh, the, my recipe has cheese and tomato and mm. onion. So, what you do is instead of the cast iron, you put it in a waffle maker. Now, ah. instead of just cooking it from the bottom, yeah. raw in the middle, and then you have to try and flip that massive thing, it's gonna break. The kids are like, Dad, why'd you ruin my roasty? And it's like, it's a shame, it's a sin. So now you put it in a, uh, in a waffle maker, yeah. you're cooking it in the bottom, the middle, and the end all at the same time. It gets cooked all the way through. You all don't have through. to flip the thing. No. Um, and that's gonna be perfect. And so that's it. So we're gonna wait this. for the waffle maker to do its job, and we're gonna talk about a few other things that you can do in the kitchen to get things moving a little more efficiently. Right, so the boiling water scenario. Everyone's yeah. like, it boils over, we're freaking out. <laughs> Mom, Dad, the water, what are we doing? So there's a little trick. If you start to see that foam pot, you just put a coated wooden spoon on top of the pot, and the second yeah. the foam touches something that can't actually absorb it, it retracts. So you've got, for us it's the oatmeal, okay? So the oatmeal's going and the oatmeal's about to bubble over and I hate when the oatmeal bubbles over because you gotta clean that stuff off the, off the pot, off the cooktop, and it wants to stick there. You just put the wooden spoon on it's top? It's gotta have a coating on it. It's gotta have a that coating. Way it's something that won't absorb the steam. Like that's what, where we're And it makes it science. go calm down. Science. Wow. Science. Science is cool, science. everybody. I'm gonna try this. Okay, so All now right. let's talk about uh, caramelized onions. Caramelized onions are great on burgers, great in omelets, great in, sand, great in everything. And they keep really well too. The problem is, if you want to call it problems, they take about a half an hour to make. Yes. So the, the hack is, you get it to a point where the onions are almost burned. Okay. Which only takes about five minutes, if you yeah. think about it. <laughs> yeah. Hit it with a little bit of water. Okay. The water will now take all those beautiful burn bits off the bottom of the pan. Yeah. Stir it around. It soaks it all up as you stir it. Right. And then you have caramelized onions way faster in about a fraction of the time. How long does would that take if you that have the water? That takes about seven minutes versus Ooh. about the 30 minutes that caramelized onions normally take. That's and amazing. I, that is really good, and the water still hasn't boiled, it, boiled over, which is great. There you go, see? We got a coated spoon, yeah. your caramelized onion. Yeah. I did this in five minutes. We got like nine things going on here. <laughs> now, with our uh, with our um, our waffle maker, how long would this usually take before it's done? You want your waffle maker to be hot, right off the hop. Yeah. You're looking at about five, six minutes once it hits there. And what All I right. find is you need that, let it sit on the bottom first for just a bit. That way, when you flip it over, everything stays contained. Oh, I see. And what, you know, we, we've topped it with some sour cream, yeah. some chives. It's actually the recipe of my new cookbook. And it's, it's great because you can actually put a lot of things in a waffle maker. I even, we have a recipe right. for macaroni and cheese waffles. <gasps> I know. Listen, Crazy. if you have one of these appliances, why wouldn't you use it for absolutely everything? Look at how the rosti looks now. Like, this is amazing, and it's cooked all the way through, and it's absolutely perfect. Um, and a perfect brunch item, which I always think brunch is a little bit of a luxury. It's like, it's, it's, it's the thing that I did when I was, you know, single with my boyfriend, right. who's now my husband. Right. We did brunch, right. you know? It's a bit and of a so one hour vacation. It's, it's like, a yeah. one hour vacation, you eat all the good foods, and it's a beautiful thing. So I think it makes perfect sense that you have come out with Brunch Life. So this is Matt's book, which is awesome. <laughs> After the show, we are going to draw for some copies. There's amazing recipes are inside. Um, if you if you take a quick look here, uh, the waffle maker is actually done with these potatoes, and he's putting a little, a little bit sour of cream, a little, a little sour chives, cream, a little fried egg on that, Absolutely a little extra perfect. cheese. Cityline.tv for that recipe. Let's go to break. Thanks, buddy. Thank you.